Hi, welcome back to Chem with Chem. Now, in this session, we're looking at number six of the CXC paper two from the January 2024 sitting. Please check out all the other questions that have been worked so far, questions one to five. If this is your first time to the channel, thanks for joining. Please check around to see what you like. Remember, if you find value, please like, share, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Also, turn on post notifications so you won't miss any time fresh content is added. Let us get right into it. So part A of number six reads, CFCs are non-metal compounds that negatively impact the environment. State the full name for CFCs. No. The full name of CFCs is chlorofluorocarbons. So we will just write that chlorofluorocarbons. Give a named example of a CFC and state its formula. All right, so one example of a CFC is chlorofluoromethane and its formula methane but we've substituted two of the hydrogens with a chlorine and a fluorine so that would be CH2 CLF then Part three, give the formula of a molecule with which CFCs react in the environment. So the formula or the name is ozone. The formula is O3. And that would give us our mark so far. So we'll now move on to part four. So we're on to part of 6a in many caribbean countries the use of cfcs as aerosol propellants is considered harmful to the environment hence cfcs have been restricted in aerosol propellants or banned explain why cfcs are harmful to the environment all right so chlorofluorocarbons the they break down the ozone layer in the upper atmosphere or where you call it stratosphere. This allows more UV light to reach the Earth's surface, resulting in an increase in humans developing skin cancer and cataracts. So it pretty much breaches the, the shield that we have or the filter that we have. I shouldn't say the filter, but whatever. The shield that we have against um, UV um, rays it breaches it by reacting with it, depleting it. And so that's why it's harmful. So let's just get that down. So we go with the part in brackets since humans are part of the environment. For emphasis, well, the ozone layer is there to protect us from the harmful UV rays coming from the sun. So CFCs break down the ozone layer in the upper atmosphere or the stratosphere. This allows more UV light to reach the Earth's surface. So it pretty much um, depletes or shield from UV radiation. Now over to part B of um, number six. Chlorine is a gas that has many uses. Part one, state one use of chlorine gas. So chlorine is used not in this form, but is used in the treatment of drinking water. So we could say chlorine is also used in insecticides.
state a laboratory test that can be used to identify chlorine gas. So chlorine gas changes the blue litmus to red, then decolorizes it. Test with blue litmus, CL gas. Changes it to red. Then bleaches it. Part three of six B. A student reacts chlorine gas with aqueous potassium iodide to produce aqueous potassium chloride and a solid. Write a balanced equation, including state symbols for the reaction. So we would need aqueous chlorine or chlorine in the aqueous state, bubbling water. That will go with 2Ki aqueous. That will give us 2 KCL just write in the balance equation up front plus I2 as the solid. Let's make this two more pronounced. Alright, so we get our full marks for that. Three marks for a balanced chemical equation. From the balanced chemical equation, from the balanced equation, so part four, from the balanced equation in B3, deduce whether chlorine is acting as an as a reducing or an oxi oxidizing agent by showing the changes in the oxidation states of the chlorine. So we'll just do it again, write it once more, put in the states. Don't have to write it again, we could. I don't want to. Solid. The above answer. Right, so let's. So the oxidation state here is zero for the chlorine. The iodide here is minus one in potassium iodide. The chloride in the potassium chloride on the right hand side is negative one. The iodine on the right hand side is zero. So the oxidizing agent is itself normally reduced. So if we look at chlorine, its oxidation number is moving from zero to minus one, which tells us that it's reduced. So that means chlorine is acting as, Cl is acting as the oxidizing agent, which is really what it is. Purple very powerful oxidizing agent. So we've shown the oxidation state and chlorine is actually being reduced. And that's what normally happens to the oxidizing agent itself as it pulls electrons from the reducing agent. So chlorine is the oxidizing agent. And just like that, we've gotten our full 15 marks. Remember to like if you find value and share this video and of course you're able to book a tutorial session with chem with chem by sending an email to chemwithchem at gmail.com copper later